and this isn't just true for like a cloud migration. This is true for any big project that you do um, internally is you really have to define your business, the business need and the business value, like before you do anything, like everyone wants to work on the latest and greatest tech and be cutting edge and do all of these new things. But if there's not value there to the business, there's really no point in it. You're not going to be able to sell that idea. Um, so find a need, first of all, um, find a way to create ROI. And the ROI isn't necessarily have to be a monetary value. It could be something else completely entirely where it brings value, but you have to figure out like, what is this value that I'm actually bringing through this project to be, in, in order to even be able to get buy-in? Like it can't be, well, we need to move to the cloud because everyone else is moving to the cloud. Like that that conversation typically does not go over very well. Um, you've got to find, find the need there. Um, from there, once you can find a need, um, and I'm sure we're going to talk about this a lot too, um, it goes to like finding finding some sort of leadership sponsor, often called, times called like an executive sponsor, someone to sponsor your idea. So, and if you're a senior leader, maybe you are that person who's who's pushing this forward, but maybe you're coming from an architect or an engineer level and you're trying to push this you need some level of leadership sponsorship to come in and, and basically stand behind your idea to help bridge the gaps um, that you have maybe between the tech teams and through the business teams and help facilitate that, um, as well as to help you just navigate maybe, again, some of these more non-technical elements like political landscapes and things like that, um, where you're focused on, what do I need to do to build this, whereas other folks are, po are focusing on just how to navigate this through through the business.